going through NFL power rankings this week, I feel like a lot of them were written before the Eagles Monday night football loss. We'll get into the, we'll get into those right after this. I don't know what's in the water with these NFL, like these big time, like national media, um, power rankings guys mm -hmm. but it's either just hate for the vikings or just too much love for everybody else in the nfl especially the packers exactly yeah we'll get into one of those a little bit later on you know i'm looking at a lot of these i'm you know i'm looking at a lot of these and i'm thinking the vikings have to be number one on a couple lists right you go into buffalo you get a huge win and then tuesday morning rolls around you're excited to see where you're at you look through all the big name power rankings and and the eagles lose we got the eagles lose too. at home so yes. the team that we just beat, right? Even and though we yes. did lose to the we did lose to the Eagles week two, but that was week two. That's a That's long time ago, exactly. Yeah, and you know, there's a lot going on. We had a lot, a whole new defensive scheme, like all this stuff happening to us. Um, so yeah. you know, we could yeah. have. I think we've definitely improved from that point for sure. And I mean, yeah, we beat Washington last right. just last week, and exactly. And lost. But now everyone's like, oh, Washington's a really plucky team. That's not a bad loss for the Eagles, like. If we lost that game in Washington to them, you know, like that, we'd have gotten just we'd have gotten reamed oh, and yeah. dropped ten spots. But the Eagles, Probably. no, because the Eagles are the yeah. are the darlings right now. <laughs> but or the other option is just really, really lazy uh, power ranking making here, to where they had everything done before that game, they lost, and it's like, oh, I'll just change my write up a little bit, but I'm not going to change the ranking. So one of those things has to be it. <sighs> I don't know, man. Let's 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 jump into a few of these. Let's look at some let's of the ridiculous. Yeah, because I already know like. I haven't, I've actually not looked at any power rankings yet, uh, myself. Yeah. And I think you told me on one of these, the Packers go up like 10 spots. That's what's annoying. It's like the Vikings. It's like, we, we have to get every single win, every win we get, we like move up an inch. It's like moving up an inch, moving up an inch, moving up an inch. And like even a big win, like we had against the bills again, moving up an inch or not moving at all. And then if we lose one, we're just going to drop like five or 10, just like you said. And then the Packers are this complete opposite. They can have bad game after bad game and move down an inch, move down. Uh, we can't let them over. Are they the 20th worst team? Uh, I don't think so. I don't know. I don't know. And you, they keep pushing them all the way down one win and boom, shoot them right back up. It's like yeah. the complete opposite and it's annoying. Yeah, it's ridiculous. But anyway, let's get into a few of these. And here's why I think this is just lazy, lazy writing. Because first off, the big name, NFL power rankings, Dan Hanzoos. The He's Eagles are still number one. How do you drop a game rate. at home to a team that, what was their record at the time? Four and five? Like they were under 500, I'm pretty so. sure. How do you, yeah, they were for sure. And how do you not drop a spot? I Especially when the Chiefs go out and win their game. Right. And win right. most games. They lost a couple early on, but again, as we mentioned, as we mentioned uh, in the precursor, that's early on. How do the Eagles not drop a not not, not flip flop with them? Yeah, or how are the Vikings know. not number one after <laughs> first first off? Let's just get back into it. The Minnesota Vikings are number three. Everyone's like, but they raised you up to number three. That's a spot above four or that's four. We should have been there a long time ago. Yeah, at least four. What, that's what, four spots above where you yeah. were last week at number seven. Yeah, they had us at seven last week. That's crazy. Yeah. We went out, but that's the thing. And here's the thing with the Minnesota Vikings. Like, you need the signature win. They won't beat Buffalo. They, they need that signature win. They won't go mm -hmm. get it. We go, mm -hmm. we get it. Yeah, yeah, but, but, nah, it's not, like, legit, legit, though. Did you see there was something, um, what was her, Joy Taylor or something was talking about how she doesn't respect the Vikings because she knows yeah. what her cousin turns into. Right, so, like, right, did right. you watch one highlight of a game and you just think, like, oh, <laughs> yeah. her cousins gave the game away. Josh Allen yeah. gave the game to you. What Shut up. What I love about that was then they brought up the Eagles and the Eagles killed us and the Eagles are undefeated. This was before they played last night and then the Eagles went out and lost. And I want to say this again. Um, you know, I understand what with some idea like, all right, the Vikings lost to the Eagles straight up. Fair. All right. That's fair. Right. That was yep. week two. That was a long time ago. But who's number two? Who's number two um, on this ranking? Did you the say? Chiefs. All right. Who did they lose to again? The Chiefs lost. I don't remember who they lost. They lost to, to the Bills. Where's the Bills on this ranking? The Bills are at number five. Number five. So why are how are the Kansas City above the Bills? How does that make any sense? They lost to them. Ooh, good point. They lost good to them, point. right? See, exactly. But it's it's just that's the problem with power rankings, man. That's that's the problem with power they rankings. They want us. They have a hard. They're having a really hard time. It took all the way to this week for that someone to put us in the top three. Besides, I think Bleacher Report has done it. I think. 
I'm not 100% yeah. sure on that. Maybe I don't know, number man. four. But it's like, you don't, they're just like, ah, we don't want to put them in there. Right. I don't know. I don't, I Ridiculous. feel like the Eagles should have dropped after a loss like that. I think you put us and Kansas City above. I know Kansas City I, did lose to the, the Bills, but. Right. I would have been fine with Chiefs one, Vikings two, Philly three. But no, that's not going to happen. Or at least drop Philly a spot. I don't know. It's just that that's what just bothers me. But anyway, I just want to see. We'll just go ahead and look where the Packers are on all these lists. The Packers are at number 16. They're up six spots after you came back against the Cowboys. Yeah. And they're six spots. They should have already been lower than what? What would they have been? 22? They should have been lower than 22. They lost to the Lions. Yeah. And before yeah. that, they lost to Washington. Yeah. They lost to the Giants. Who else? They lost to a bunch. They had like yeah. a five-game losing streak yeah. or whatever. Yep. But I don't know. And they only uh, went down to 22. Dan Hans is the first one. He's uh, puckering up the lips and kissing Rodgers in the you-know-where. Uh, let's move <laughs> on to... See, you know, this power rankings, ESPN, I am I was surprised because I was expecting the Vikings to get a lot of the hate of just like, yeah, they, they barely beat the Bills. Josh Allen wasn't healthy. They had to come back. And yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? So I can respect... The Chiefs at one again, sure, and they actually dropped Philadelphia. I can respect that as Which well. Should have been Vikings at number three, Dolphins. Yep. At four. You know, I can, I can actually, for the first time in a long time, I can actually kind of respect an ESPN power rankings list. Do I think the Vikings could be ahead of Philadelphia? <laughs> sure, after going on the road and beating Buffalo, they also right. have us up. They only have us up one spot from last week. Um, but so I can kind of get behind this, though. I do think the Vikings should be number one in more power rankings. Uh, anything else to say about ESPNs at all? Uh, no, where's the Packers at? That's the, and that's the Bills. Where are the Bills that. at Let's now? See where he is. The Bills, Bills are five at five. Those are number five. Okay. So it's down a couple of spots. Okay. Cowboys at nine. Cowboys. That's fair. Let's see where they put our... Okay, 18. 18. Respectable. Respectable. How much did they go up? Uh, They were at 24 last week. So still going up six, six spots after... But that's what's back. crazy about it. Like, oh, oh, stop, they... stop. One second, though. I want to toss this out there. When everyone yeah. says to the Vikings, you can't go up because Josh Allen gave you the game. Dak Prescott... And Mike McCarthy gave the Packers the game. Mm-hmm. Where are we gonna? When are we gonna hear about that? You're mm-hmm. right. We're never gonna hear about that. Mm-hmm. Go on. Sorry, I interrupted you there. Go ahead. Um, no, it's just, I, it's just crazy that the Packers win one game. I know it's against the Cowboys that are somewhat decent team, but you just lost to the At Lions. Home. You just lost to a bunch of bad teams. I just don't get like it's just annoying that they just boost them up that far. Like I know for a fact we lost that game against the Bills. I bet you we would have been around uh, NFL.com probably would have been. At, at 10 and but on everyone else's we've been at like six or something yeah i don't know but again puckering up darren rogers just the way it works uh moving on next here looking at bleacher report your minnesota vikings are at number three that's you know that's fine but again mm-hmm. just another one kansas city chiefs at two philadelphia eagles somehow some way stay at number one in their in, in, in their power rankings um i don't know it's a little unsettling to see a team play so flat coming off their bye, but the Eagles went to Monday night a little complacent. They didn't come out that way. Philadelphia wasn't going to run the table, yada, 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 yada. Giving them all, all the excuses in the world. How right. do you – I just I just don't understand it, man. You drop a game at home, and somehow you stay at number one. I just – it doesn't – again, they had this all made beforehand, I think. I don't know. And who, just, so the Eagles did beat us. Who else have they beaten besides us? Like, it was it was early in the year. It wasn't – I mean, it was a, there was a lot of really bad football teams they yeah, and we beat. I mean, I know we beat we beat Miami, who's number four on a lot of these lists. Yeah, they didn't have Tua, but Tua's not like a Josh Allen or anything like that. So I just that was still a good Miami team that we faced and beat, and then we beat Buffalo and we beat Washington, who beat yeah. Philly. I don't know, but it's just number three. It's ridiculous. Uh, let's go see where they put the Packers. They have the Packers. Come on, keep at, someone, okay, keep them in the 20. 18. There they are, 18. Last week, 24, still kind of the same thing. And I, it was an overtime. It was a freaking overtime. I mean, right. I know ours they was gave an overtime, game win, in overtime but... because Mike McCarthy showed why he isn't in Green Bay anymore. Yeah. And we should have won. They, we should have already won that game. The, um, what's his name? G- uh, Gabe Davis, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yep. the Gabe Davis catch that they didn't review, and then the twelve man on the field on overtime. Like, what was that? Yeah. Which, by the way, Kevin O'Connell had a funny. He was talking to Pete Burst. I put it on our Twitter uh, today, and he had said something. He's uh, they were going over some of the, like the big plays of the game, and uh, he's 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 talking to Pete Burst. He's like, you know, we didn't have a chance to go win that game in overtime. 
Uh, it's difficult when the defense is sometimes allowed to play with 12 men, but Hey, you know I mean? I guess I got to learn how to do that. I'm drawing up a play right now to figure out how to beat 12 men, but we'll see, yeah. we'll see what I come up with. How do you do that at the Hilarious end of the game? Kevin O'Connell isn't there yeah. someone, isn't this like someone's like only job is to count how many people are on the field? Probably should be. Yeah. And all anyway, time, moving on. on to the next list. Uh, Still we, got, waiting anyways. we have CBS's power rankings. Again, you can understand chiefs at one. I'm totally fine with that. The Eagles, man, just, I don't They're know. They're going to have a hard time putting us ahead right. of the Eagles. But the, the, the problem, loss. the problem, again, but there you are with the Chiefs at one, Bills at five. The problem yeah. I have with this is the Vikings go in and get that statement win everybody's talking about, and we don't move. We stay at three. But yeah, he did say it's time to believe in the team. They might not always be pretty, but they get the job done. They face a tough game with Dallas uh, this week. Sure, very true. But, like, to, to, to go in and get that win that you that you so desperately needed and people said you couldn't get, I don't know, man. I don't know. <laughs> you want to talk about more national media respect as well? The fact the Vikings, as of right now, are one point dogs at home against the Cowboys. Yeah. I don't yeah, I know. understand. You know, it's, I mean, the media is not, they're not on the, us yet. You, you know, a lot of times you sit there and you think, oh, it's not that big of a deal. But when you just see the blatant disrespect, like people are going to, again, people, number three, what are you complaining about? It's just, I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't know. It's, you need some respect. That was a crazy game. That was a huge win. Come back. We finished games. Was. Dude. That's what we do. We do. Yep, exactly. The best one, though, is self-loathing. Longtime Minnesota Vikings fan who hides it under his shame. Mike Florio put together his power rankings, and he put your Minnesota Vikings at number one. Team of destiny, <laughs> even if destiny means finding yet another spectacular way to lose in the postseason. He may be right. We won't know. But as I said, as I said on Sunday, I'm in full enjoy the ride mode. This power rankings is the best power rankings you will see. Vikings one, Chiefs two, Eagles three. 100 percent fine with that mm-hmm. i may have put i probably would put the dolphins ahead of the giants if it was me oh, but man. you know what i is love the it other, who's no the ravens how far did they drop the bills the bills dropped nine number nine i don't spots. think that i i would put the bills at five i like i would honestly still put them at four probably above miami oh uh, even but though Minnesota miami Vikings are number one so that automatically makes us the best ranking yeah 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 out of all of them the packers the packers, uh, like on here. packers stay at or move up to 18, but you know, I guess it kind of uh is Everyone what it is. Special. One more thing I did want to talk about here is that the Packers moved up 10 spots in his power rankings here on CBS because you beat the Cowboys at home when they gave you the game. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. know. I don't that's know. That's just how it is, but that's why we just know. gotta keep winning. From 28 to 18. Packers will just lose again this week. Who are they against this week? Who, They've got to have a bye pretty who's quick. Who's again? Pete Prisco. I don't know. He seems like a nice guy, but where everybody else was mm-hmm. kissing the kissing Rogers, you know where he just has his mouth open for Rogers, if you know what I mean. <laughs> but anyway, sorry, this isn't a very PG episode, but it's just, that's the that's the kind of stuff that just drives. Hey, we gotta absolutely. We, de- we deserve our respect now. Right, it's official. We yeah. deserve our respect. Yeah. Gave Vikings gave one of the best, if, no, the best game of the year. We deserve our respect. Beat arguably the best team that people would say was the best team, even though they lose to us and now so now they'll they're willing to drop the bills down five and won't move us up at all. But exactly. whatever. But then you know just a Keep lot of this, well that's but that's the thing though. All all the media has been talking about this week is how they lost the game. How about how the Minnesota Vikings won the game? Yeah. We won't talk we won't talk about like, that. Not no, everybody's making win. that Justin Jefferson catch. That was him going and making a play. Not mm-hmm. the de- the defense guy was on him. Yeah. What's he gonna do? That was yeah. us making yeah. plays. Offensive line blocked. Kirk put the ball where it needed to be. They got what else can you? Twelve say? man on the field and the Gabe Davis no replay, no review. Yeah. Like how can you say they lost a game when we they literally gave them a freaking opportunities on a platter, and we still yeah. ended up winning. Right. The only love that Kirk gets from any referees or the national media is when they're you know doing you know what to him during the game because not helping his team out, but. It is what it is. It is what it is. Again, I think the Vikings would rather have it this way. I think Kevin O'Connell would rather coach this team, have some chalkboards or what do they call yeah. it? Chalkboard stuff or whiteboard stuff that you put up. I can't remember exactly what they call it. Put it up on the board and be like, this is what teams, this is what people are still thinking. That Kevin, O'Connell, on Kevin O'Connell said it best in his post games, in his uh, post game locker room speech. This was the last stamp on showing people that we are one of the best teams in this league. Now we get to go out and prove it every week. Mm-hmm. I think they're going to keep proving it. Coming up this week against Dallas. Thanks for joining us for this episode. Breaking down the power rankings. Let us know your thoughts down in the comments section. And we'll see you guys next time on the GG Sports Podcast.
Let's go Vikes. <laughs>